Hey everybody, it's JR. We're back here. Um, <clears throat> this is going to be labeled like part. Probably want to keep your leg off that, it's hot. This is labeled part three or four or something, I don't know. It should be part one because uh, I've come to the conclusion that I massively screwed up by delooming the whole thing at once. And now I just have a rat's nest I can't untangle. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is actually continue depinning the entire thing which does two things for me um, it'll allow me to lengthen everything because I'll have all the pins out and uh, it'll allow me to make sure that I have everything I'm supposed to have because I can go through you know like this here I think this is an injector yeah, I can go through here and uh, identify each. You know, I got my idle air control and TPS hooked up. So I'll be able to go through and identify every single thing and continuity test it with my multimeter. And I'll know for certain that I have everything hooked up like I'm supposed to. Um, and I'm probably going to go ahead and put the ECM inside the cab of the truck. But, uh... I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to cut the audio and uh, probably put you on like a fast forward kind of thing because really it's kind of tedious to watch. But one more thing I'm going to show you though before I go. Uh, these guys right here. Shoot. Stupid thing. All right, All Electronics Corporation, they have these fuse blocks and uh, the relays that fit into them. They mailed me a bunch of extra crap, of course. Actually, it looks kind of cool. I'm going to have to keep that and see what we got here. Anyway. These relays will, these relay sockets, I'm sorry, I should say. These are relay sockets. And here's the part, part number on them. These will clip into the side of the Dorman uh, fuse block here. So these will slide in there. I'm not going to take it out, but these will slide in there and then you'll have one nice, neat deal just like you see elsewhere so i'm going to go ahead and get started what you're going to see here is basically how to build a harness from scratch um because i'm going to have to lengthen the wires in the middle but uh i'm going to cut the audio fast forward it come up with some hokey song to play for you that doesn't violate copyright rules and get me thrown in youtube jail and i'll be back for you in a few minutes for me, probably in three hours. So. Amateur. There you go. Enjoy the show.
All right, I'm back. Um, I deep in the hoods completely. I put their color coating back on them, so I've already marked them anyway. But I'm gonna go ahead and clean out the back side, clean off the back sides. Uh, I'm gonna clean up this wiring here. It kind of looks like like most of my wiring just cleaned itself up when I did this. All my injectors and everything are right there on that leg. So this is already working out for me pretty good. I do see a coil connector down there. Um, there's some plugs I'm going to need, obviously. But uh, I think I'm going to like this. I'm going to go ahead and tie this stuff up. And what I'll do when I do lengthen this is I'll cut these wires like back here. Because I don't have, I'm not going to go buy yellow with a brown stripe and all that crap. I'm just going to get some 18, 20 gauge wire and splice it. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get that all tied up. And put you guys back on a time lapse while I sort this out. And uh... Because that last video was ridiculously long, I doubt anybody's going to watch it. It's not live yet, but when it goes live, I can't imagine anybody's going to sit there and watch me fumble around for an hour. So I'll go ahead and put you guys back on the time lapse.
All right, I got everything cleaned up. I'm not sure how much that took, how long that took in video time, but it didn't take too long in real life. Uh, I honestly think it was a better idea than I thought. It looks like it's 8.56, according to my camera. So, I don't know, this took like an hour, maybe. I have a pile of extra wire. I have some coiled up wires that I know what they do, so I coiled them up, tagged them, and set them aside. I have a couple, well, this, I, I know what I need to do with this. Um, so I have these wires up here that were deep in and are gonna go to something else on my truck. I have a handful of plugs down here that I'm not sure what they do. One of them's gotta be for my crank sensor. Uh, But yeah, this went way easier, way more straightforward. So I'm left with, you know, my pins, and I'll have to repin everywhere. But, and I'll have to wire all the paints. But now I know all the paints that don't go to anything for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out. Uh, my coil harness harnesses came out separately. I don't know what that's about, but we'll see. I definitely made a ton of progress here in an hour that uh, I would have been flipping in that mess over for days. So, I don't know. It's not running yet. We'll see. I've got these two plugs here that I'm pretty sure are for AC stuff. Um... Then this is all ground. This is going to be my trigger wire to my starter. Uh, I, I still have stuff to label and straighten out, but I just made a ton of progress in an hour, so I'm feeling so much better about myself now. I'm going to uh, go ahead and get you guys back on mute and go back to high-speed antics, and uh, we'll keep sorting it out.
All right, in case you didn't know, um, you can use one of these cheap Harbor Freight multimeters to check to see if your wires are broken <clears throat> or cut anywhere. Uh, they call that continuity. When, when electrical geeks say, I'm going to ohm it out, what they mean is they're going to check for resistance across the wire. So if you set your thing up just like I have it with the black in the common port and the red on the 10 amp and then uh, the switch should be to this little omega sign and you'll get a 1 and when you touch your red to your black that'll drop to 0 if I do it right okay that means that there's an unbroken connection between these wires. So we can apply that to our LS wiring harness. Now I swore I had a broken wire and I had found this out and I was so sad but now I can't find it. The wire that I thought was broken was blue to the injectors. Of course, now I can't find. Here it is. All right. You can see the wire colors, believe me, that's blue and white, and that's pink. These are actually grounds. They're, they're wired hot all the time with all the pinks that go down here to your big plug. <clears throat> and the ECU just grounds them. So to check to see if my wire here is broken, I'm going to jam this into the... red side I'm gonna go down here to my ECU side and I'm going to stick this on there now let me show you if I can I'm gonna have to cheat at this a second All right, now let me see if I can cheat. I taped that. We got a blue wire with a white tracer. We got a one here. So on the other end, there's my blue wire with a white tracer. I know it looks black on film, but it's not. Uh, damn it. Oh, can help by stuffing in the damn plug. And there it goes down to zero. So I know now that that wire is not broken anywhere. And I'm actually going to go ahead and do that with every one of them. Because uh, I don't trust it. I'm going to set you guys down and wrap this up. <clears throat> so, in summary, I need a drink. In summary, I have my wiring harness 99% wrapped up. And if you follow along on the next part, you'll actually see how to build one from scratch because essentially that's what I'm doing. We're going to go through these pin by pin. I'm going to ohm each wire and uh, lengthen it if, ne if needed and repin them. Then we'll get back to looming. I am going to have to buy a crank sensor. Uh, the engine came without a crank sensor in it. That's a new AC Delco one in there. I don't know what happened to the plug on the harness, but it's not here. I spent quite a bit of time looking around for it. Um, but pulling all those wires, deep in the whole connector, 
helped me immensely in being able to sort this out. I, I don't think I would have been able to do it without, you know, I had twisted and rattled it into a big old ball of snarl. And... So in the next video, we'll get down to the part you guys really want to see, which is where I wire my relays and build my fuse blocks and all that kind of stuff. Uh, these past two videos are pretty dry. If you're actually going through this, though, it, it, they'll probably help you, I hope. Um, yeah, that's it. Till next time. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. We'll see you.